What's up guys, Diecast Aviation back here with another video. Um, and today we're going to be looking at and unboxing this Gemini Jets 1400 Emirates A380 in the Expo 2020 livery. So as usual, first off, we're just going to take a look at the box. Now this is a different Gemini Jets box. You actually don't see the Gemini Jets logo on here anyway. Uh, other than the bottom of the aircraft, I think. So, I'm not sure why they do that. If anyone knows, uh, it'd be nice to let me know in the comment. That'd be nice. But you do actually see GJ, so you know that it's a Gemini Jet model, uh, because you have the, the item ID. So then up here, you've got Airbus A380 in the Emirates text, scale 1400. Then you have the Emirates little logo there. This is sort of just how Emirates does everything. They have the red and then the, you'll see their advertisements, their banners, everything. This is sort of what it looks like. They have a good thing going on there. They got Expo2020Dubai.com. That's the special livery this aircraft wears, or if you can even call it a special livery, it's not much. And then www.emiratesstore, emirates.store. So, oh, right, my bad. You do see Gemini Jets on here. So, never mind that last part. And then again, A380, Airbus A380-800, more of that. You got the Expo logo. Uh, so yeah, looking good. Just going to turn it around now. So on the back, you've got the same sort of stuff. This is the type of stuff that you'd find on the flap of the box, but this is an abnormal Gemini Jets box, so... All the information on the aircraft is there. And then here you've got the plane itself, the computer generated design. And then you have uh, just some more warnings uh, licensed by Expo 2020, Gemini Jets, all that, uh, Emirates, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, there it is, official uh, licensed product of Emirates. So now we're just going to open this up. Um, I always have trouble opening up with one hand, but. See what I can do. So this is actually an older model. I got it off of eBay from its used. Uh, you know, Gemini just releases a lot of. They have some sort of weird agreement with Gemini Jets, where they produce a lot of. Gemini Jets produces a lot of Emirates models, so they're never really too rare. So I was able to pick this one up for a pretty decent price on eBay. Uh, yeah, a bit of a different Gemini Jets box. This thing's usually blue, but all sort of the same stuff. So there you got the model itself. So now I'm just going to take it off. Um, got some plastic there, just protecting it, and then the plane itself. So I'm going to take this out of the box and give you guys a further look at it. Alright, so here we do have the giant Airbus A380 of Emirates. They've got a lot of these. Too many, some might say. But, so obviously they're going to have a lot of liveries. Model looks good. Nothing uh, I can see standing out that is shouldn't be there on inaccurate. But, yeah, we're just going to start off with the nose. So good mold. Gemini Jets has a very good A380 mold. I think it's better than Phoenix or JC Wings. I've had both of their models, and I think Gemini Jets is superior. So you got the three antennas on the nose. You have Airbus A380 down there. Then you have more sort of sensors, antennas up here. And then the registration, which is UC. Those are the last letters, so it's Alpha... Six Echo Uniform Charlie. So you see, and you got the L2 door. Looks pretty good. Moving up, you have this is the special livery, if you can even call it that, but special little expo 2020 Dubai UAE. And that says official product. It says official something. Not sure what that says. And then the classic Emirates gold writing. And then back here, it's just your average Emirates A380, everyday Emirates A380 livery. 
www.emirates.com and then you have the L2 door, upper deck, this window is blocked off because that's where the first class cabin ends, these two are blocked off because of the galley, and then these two are more blocked off because of a galley, I think, and the showers are up here for first class. So then here you got the antennas, all accurate on the A380, and then the two lights, you can see that if you're flying on A380. Then you have the, the large wings, the double deckers of the two decks, of course. Moving down, again, just your average Emirates A380. You can see these windows are blocked off here because there's actually a galley in here, and then the lounge is over here in the middle of this door. So you got the nice red Emirates tail, the green, the blue. It's sort of bland, but it works. It's good. And then, of course, you have the registration A6EUC. I said that before. And then the horizontal stabilizers, APU, back there. And then you have some nice Emirates engines. And then the little things for making it more aerodynamic. The winglets with the Emirates logo. So yeah, really nice, really accurate model. I already showed you up the top. The main thing is the little Wi-Fi dome. That actually doesn't stick out. I don't know if it is a Wi-Fi dome, but that'd be my best guess. Uh, all the flaps looking good. I hope they make, because like on an A380, the, these flaps are always down when it's on the ground. The rudder's always turned, the, the elevators are always down. Uh, that's sort of just its resting position. I don't know why it does that. Uh, but whenever I see an A380 on the ground, it always has the rudder turned, these flaps down and those flaps down. So flipping it upside down, You've got the wheel, they do roll of course, I'm not going to roll them because they tend to get messed up on the A380s, these little things. You have the Emirates uh, text, so that's very nice on the bottom of their aircraft. Then you have the Gemini Jets logo, just so you know it's Gemini Jets. You also have cargo, or luggage, baggage, hold, cargo hold down there, down there. Uh, yeah, and then just back to the horizontal stabilizers. Uh, and then the wings, and more wheels. The wings are very, very large on the A380. It's a big plane. And then the registration again. So yeah, all in all, just in final review of the model. It's a very good model. Definitely would recommend it. They can be pretty expensive at times, but if you need, you know, Emirates A380s are flying all to almost all major cities, so I definitely recommend getting it. I chose to get this one in the as close to a regular livery as possible because I prefer to have planes in regular liveries just to make my airport more realistic. But I also like special liveries, those can be cool too, but it's just I only have one A380 and I'd rather that be a somewhat regular livery. So that's why I, I chose to get this model. Definitely recommend it, definitely recommend any A3, Emirates A380, the livery is good and the molds are good. So thanks for watching, we've got new videos every day, daily new videos, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you comment, I'll get back to you as always, and subscribe so you don't miss the next couple videos for the next, uh, the next group of daily videos. So thanks for watching.